Hi! In this demo video of Form Titan and Salesforce, I will show you how to create a PDF out of the form a user just filled, create a contact and attach that PDF to the contact as an attachment. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is capture the user details. So let's capture their full name. Let's capture their email. And obviously we want the birthday, so let's bring in a date time, or a date control, sorry. I call it date of birth. And maybe the last thing I want to do is allow the user to sign the form. So privacy, let's go to signature, and let's allow them to sign the form. I'll just make it a bit smaller, something like that. Perfect. Okay, so the first step I want to do is obviously generate a PDF. So if I go to PDF mapping, map fields, I can here have two options, either use it in basic mode or dynamic mode. I'll start with basic mode. This is where you can say, I've got a PDF that I've created, I just want to place the fields on it. So I've got a template, I just want to populate it. So this is my template. And now I can just go to element and start bringing the fields over. So full name and put it there. And bring in the date of birth and put it below and so on and so forth. So I just finished that. And let's bring in the signature, put it over there. And you know what, for the signature, let's make it a bit bigger. Okay, that's how easy it is to generate a PDF. I can encrypt the PDF and set a password if I wanted to. I want to preview the PDF before I submit. That's what I've done. Um, I can give titles and things and obviously send an email to the user or owner with a PDF or any other, other person. Okay, so let's apply this and let's see it in action. So let's put in first, last, and first at last.com. Let's say it's really young and sign the form. And now when I click submit, you can see the PDF is being generated and exactly the fields that I've added are on the form. That's how easy it is to generate a PDF. Now, let's go a step further. Let's create a contact and attach the PDF to it. So to do that, we will go to the Salesforce integration tab and click push under Salesforce edit. Now we can click add object to select the object to create in Salesforce. In our case, it's a contact object, but you're not limited to contact or any other built-in object in Salesforce. You can use any custom object. The action is create, and all I have to do is map the fields. So for example, the last name, the first name, the email, and obviously the date, birthday. There it is, birthday goes to DOB. Perfect, so DOB will populate birthday. That's done, so we've created our contact. Now we want to create an attachment. So I'll click on the plus and the contact to add a child. And here I'll select attachment. The action again is create. And the map fields now are a bit different. First, you can see the form Titan automatically populated the contact ID as a parent because it belongs to the contact. The file name will come from the PDF mapping, or you can set a static file name if you wanted. And the body, body of the attachment is the PDF mapping. That's all we have to do in order to create the attachment. So let's see it all in action now. So if I click finish and save, and I come here and run the form, let's um, create a user, so call it Tiger Woods, and then Tiger at Woods.com, and let's put 12, um, yeah, let's instead of typing just select a date, and he signed the form, submitted the form. Now, when the form is submitted again, we're just previewing the PDF. I'll click continue, and now we're submitting the form to Salesforce. So let's go into Salesforce and see that. And here you can see Tiger Woods has been created. If I go to the contact, I can see Tiger Woods with the correct birthday. And if I scroll down to attachments, 
you can see our signed form.pdf if I view it you can see the PDF we have just generated that's how easy it is to create PDFs attach them to Salesforce objects or even send them as email thank you very much